What's up guys, me Mo here and today I'm going to be doing the half mask Ichigo face mask thing situation. I'm going to add some stuff on the screen so you know what I'm talking about. So first I'm going to prime my face with my Rimmel London primer, mattifying primer. You know what it is. You can look it up and figure it out. It's got the purple detailing on it. So I'm just putting that all over my face. I do moisturize my face before just to make sure that this stuff does not dry me out. First, I'm going to do the outline with white paint, and I don't mind having a thicker brush for this because I will be using something smaller in place of a smaller brush. I'll be using a Q-tip because that's like the smallest thing I have available to me. So I'll just straight up using a pencil or a pen on my face, which is probably not good for my skin, so I just kind of, and when it's wet, it just wipes away. The other side, I'm not going to put like too much makeup on, but I am going to do a little bit of beauty makeup just so I don't go trying to like look like Ichigo because when I did my, uh, what is his name, Grimjaw look, I looked kind of weird because I was trying to be him. And it was impossible because we are not the same gender, race, or anything like that. So I'm just going to be myself with an Ichigo mask. And now it's interesting because Ichigo's mask changes from when it's half like this to when it's like a quarter of the face where it's just like the eye part and like part of the jaw and like to the whole mask. You'll notice um, when you go through like this images on Google, she did not fall there if you saw that. <laughs> she just keeps jumping on the bed and like giving me a small heart attack, heart attack like all day. So yeah, but it's always different and I just chose this one because I liked it. It, I like doing half face type of face paints and I'm just outlining the lines where I'm doing red so I don't want to put all white because I want the red to be as deep as it possibly can because I don't want the white to like lighten it or give it some sort of feel that I'm not trying to go for. Alright, so right here I am starting to fill in the face paint. I'm using a small brush because when you work in smaller sections it gives the other sections more time to dry so that it doesn't... Because this paint is not the best paint, but it's the paint that I have. And if you go over it while it's still wet, it'll actually remove the paint underneath and it's really annoying. So yeah, just skip ahead with that. And I'm using this e.l.f. lipstick. Uh, I should have the, the color on the screen somewhere. But I'm using that on a Q-tip and I'm going along the parts where my skin is exposed and even if my skin is not exposed, I'm going to go over where it needs to be red. And I'm going to first just like fill it in and try to get the lines straight and all the colors where they need to be. Good thing about this is that it's a very simple face paint. It only really uses two colors, three, four. And um, I'm going to say this ahead of time. I made his eyes green because I was looking at this mask and the mask made his eyes green but his eyes were actually yellow, his hollow eyes. So I don't, <laughs> I completely blanked on that because I was still thinking about the mask that I saw someone made in real life so I was all up and off. But yeah, I'm just going to fill it in red and then.
All right, so now I'm taking this liquid lipstick by uh, Ruby Kisses, and I'm just going over that just to kind of bring out the color and make it more opaque. If I would have just added it by itself, I probably would have had to go over it twice anyway. I just feel like the cream gives it a much more opaque base, and then adding this on top really just kind of brings out the color. And like there are two different types of reds, so this one give it gave it a more of the red that I'm looking for. And now I'm going to do the hollow eye, which is like this nice cat eye effect, very elongated. So I'm going to align it first and then fill it in, doing the best to go around my eye without getting any in my eye because I have contacts on and I'm not trying to get that paint in my contacts. Not this series. And it's going to take a while to do this because, again, this paint, I can't keep going over it while it's wet. The black is a little bit more forgiving, but this paint, I keep trying to go over it while it's wet. It's just going to come off and it's just going to be patchy, which is why the, the white doesn't look as great as I wanted it to. Because I had to go over the white quite a few times to get it as a big difference. So now, um, I'm doing the mouth part of the thing. I'm just going to do a line and I'm going to go in between the gaps of my lips. And like the lines right there and just like go on it just uh, make sure that line is up with the rest of the rest of them the rest of the line the one line across my cheek now I'm going to put lines like um, like a skeleton face type thing you know the basic lines like you have stitches or something but this is just gonna be the start of the teeth that he has on this hollow mask I even add a line at the very end because I'm going to seal that off. It's not supposed to be stitches, it's supposed to be teeth. So now I'm going to, yeah, I'll also do it at the front. I'm going to mark where I want the top of the lip, the lip, the tooth to be with dots. At the end, I'm going to start off with, um, oh gosh, she's just jumping around in the background. Um, I started off trying to do it by hand, but last time I did that, when I did the grim draw thing, it messed up, but I realized that one thing I tried to do with the grim draw that was like last minute and kind of saved it was do dots and then try to make like triangles at the top just to make the teeth look more teeth like and to keep them like planned out, especially when I'm not using a brush, I'm using a Q-tip, Q-tip, toothpick because the toothpick, if I go too hard and not just allow the paint to leave the, the pick, I will actually scrape up the white underneath. And so I did that to my bottom half, and now I'm taking this paint, this green paint, it's supposed to be green, but it's actually like teal. And again, this is where I accidentally make them green when it should be yellow. I have yellow face paint, but I don't have really green face, face paint, I have teal for some reason. And even when I try to mix the green, the blue and the yellow face paint together, for some reason it makes teal too, I don't know. So I go over it, I just try to make the shape as best as I can, even though my eyes are hooded a little bit, so it makes it a little hard. And then I'm going to go over with some eyeshadow, some green eyeshadow. But then I'm going to like regret that because it's not enough. And I'm going to go over it again with more paint on top of the eyeshadow, which really doesn't bother the paint at all. So, and then I'm going to go over it with more eyeshadow just to try and bring out the greenness of it. And so this is the finished product. After I cleaned it up and added more eyeshadow, I didn't actually put it on all the parts. You can see there's a little bit of blue right there, but it kind of ombre and it kind of looks cute. And it kind of puts my own little bit of personality into it. But I really like it. I think I did pretty good. Um, even like with the paint that I had, it's my first time. I think I could do better, but not right now. I just gotta keep practicing and I think it looks really, really dope. And uh, so if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to subscribe for more random bleach stuff that I actually will be doing. I will be drawing my own bleach characters. So if you like that, then subscribe. And talk to you guys all later. Bye.